Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Palm Mass video. Today, let's talk a bit about the new Gordy. Finally came into the game, right? Shout out to Light Scatterbug, by the way, um, for, for this unit. And he is going to be a spotlight, so there is that. Thank goodness, at least part of my wallet will be safe. <laughs> Just because you get there's, there's that, like, there's that, like, guaranteed, like, um, ticket thing that they do with spotlights now. But, anyways, uh, <laughs> this Gordy, uh, tech unit, right? And let's uh let's check out the let's check out the kit. Let's check out the kit. We have Colossal, obviously. Why would it be anyone else? Uh it's rock type, weak to ground. Let's check out the stats here real quick. 410 special and physical attack. Does he even have any special moves? Bro, doesn't even have any special moves. <laughs> this thing has 410 special attack for what, man? Special attack for what? Anyways. Uh, 238 defense, which is actually pretty respectable. 710 HP, which is pretty respectable too. And then 208 speed, which is not respectable at all. Moving on. As for the moves, Rock Tomb, Flame Charge, Tar Shot, and the Trainer move, not just yet. Ooh, that might be a bit tough in terms of if you want this guy to do damage, but you know, maybe he's just a really, really techy tech unit. We'll see, right? Rock Tomb, obviously debuff speed, Flame Charge raises speed. Tar shot here lowers target speed by one. Lowers. T oh wow, he's a t fire type rebuff debuffer. Oh, if you guys did um miss the video earlier when I was going over the dev letter, I explained the rebuff thing. So uh, basically, in this case, if you lower the opponent's fire type rebuff, uh, the opponents are just more weak to fire type moves, right? So there's like an extra multiplier for fire moves specifically added to the opponent, right? Um, you could get up to three, uh, three, three ranks over there, right? Although there's only two MP, it seems, for this move specifically. But there's probably MP refreshes in the, in the, in the um, grid to get it to minus three. So we'll see. Um, not just yet. Raises attack by two. Raises defense and crit by one. Okay, that's 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 all right. Um, what else we have? The sink is based on speed debuffing. <gasps> Uh, well, I guess since you don't have much else to do, <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, there's all these Doja Gloria. Uh, G Max Vol Volca Volca I, I can't pronounce that word. Whatever. Uh, rock damage field effect. Oh my god, that thing is so bad. That thing is so bad, man. It's basically it's stealth rock. Stealth rock sucks, man. Tell that to <laughs> to you know <laughs> a singles player. <laughs> Competitive or whatever, but yeah, uh, Stealth Rocks kind of sucks in this game. Everyone has like, not everyone, but like a lot of units has just massive, massive resistance to it, so it really doesn't do that much damage, honestly. Mm. Max Flare makes it sunny. Oh, so this is a more interesting one. This is a more interesting one. Even though it's Rock type, I feel like it's more low key a Fire type unit than a Rock type unit, because you have the, the Fire rebuff stuff to help your Fire types do more damage, and then boom, you have like Sun here as well. Yeah, this is more of a fire unit than a rock type unit, man. It does seem it does seem like that. It does seem like that. What else we got? Anyways, uh, let's check out the passives. Hot to the touch for fifty percent chance of burning the opponent when the user's hit by. Oh no, this is a fire type. This is a fire type unit. <laughs> Post haste nine, buffs speed by two when hit by attack move. Hunter's instinct. Yeah, this is a fire unit. Four ten attack is not bad, man. It's still a two gauge move though, but yeah, we'll obviously have the max move to make up for, make up for some of that, I guess. Moving on, to your sync grid, uh, some rock doom stuff, rock DF power up. Oh, damage field powers up users move when rock field damage is applied. To opponents field to play. Okay, <laughs> sure, sure, I I I guess. That's that's definitely a uh, that's definitely a passive. One of the passives of all time. Um, Rock Tomb Trip Up. Okay, that's that helps. That helps, at least. That helps. Um, what else? Defense Crush 2. Alright. That's not bad either, honestly. That's that's pretty decent. Um, speed 20. Charging Sun 3 is good. Speeding Sun 2 is alright. Inertia. Mm, okay. It's based on speed debuff, right? The name. Alright. Does it have any speed buffs again? Uh, no. Oh, flame charge. 
Yeah, flame charge. Okay, what else? Mm. Tar shot move, good fresh ramming speed, shielded two, fast track nine is nice. Yeah. Hmm. Shielded two, defense of all plus two team. Scorching sink, three percent. Oh, yeah, this is a fire unit. <laughs> um, Berserker one, cakewalk, head start one. Oh. This is a weird unit. <laughs> this is a pretty weird. Look, it's not, it's, it's definitely not, it's definitely not like a big DPS unit of rubber, right? Uh, but I don't know. I kind of like it, man. Again, it, it'll kind of depend. It kind of depend on how the rebuff thing works, right? In terms of how much of a multiplier it is, right? Before I, uh, you know, really can definitively say much about this, but. So far, so good. You know, you could set sun for fire type units, could debuff the opponent's fire type rebuff as well. Debuff opponent's physical defense. You got you still got, you know, some max move damage, right? It's not bad, man. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad at all. It's it's not like anything crazy, but again, depending on how the fire rebuff goes, this could be really, really nice addition to like a fire team. Sun team. Fire well, fire team, more than a sun team. There's like grass type sun teams, whatever. I don't know. It's not bad. There's definitely things that I don't like about it. The rock damage field effect thing is just really mediocre in this game. Um, yeah, the speed debuff isn't that bad either. If you could pick up, um, what what was it? Uh, trip up nine on rock tomb, I guess. It's just slightly awkward because like. Half of your multipliers want you to use Rock Tomb. Half of your multipliers want you to use Flame Charge. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's a bit awkward. But again, you could, uh, you know, three turns of each would max both of them out, at least for you. Although I'm not sure if you have enough energy to pick all that up. So that might still be a problem. But hey, you don't always need the max multipliers. Plus this DPS, like, it's not really going to get that much better. So... <laughs> Why try? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's it's overall a nice unit. Again, nothing insane, but it's all right. It's a it's a spotlight, man. It's not not something you have to like pull on immediately. It's something you just could be pleasantly surprised when seeing in the future when you're playing on some other banners, right? So limited units and such. Un unless you're a big Gordy fan. Um, like scatters, which is probably gonna pull on it. So good luck, anyways. That's me. This one. I hope y'all enjoyed. My guys, think in the comments down below. Like, enjoy the videos for our channel. So more pull them out. So, come on, I'll see you guys in the next one, then.